Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Attack of the B Team. I'm Space Nerd, of course, and today I have a little sneak peek at what we might be expecting coming up in the next episode. But let's get started with this one, shall we? Whoa, extreme close up. <laughs> so let's head into our mad scientist lair and go up to our Hall of Cosmonauts. Our Hall of Cosmonauts is our space station from Galacticraft that we've converted into a monument for you guys. So it is a place where I have statues of everyone that has posted a comment on my channel saying, hey, space, I'm a subscriber. I'd like to be in the Hall of Cosmonauts too. Here are a couple guys. Ooh, skin servers aren't working. So, Pro Beast here. We have Blue Clan, Dirt Man, Mr. Billy Bob, Hafiz the Killer, Jack Dog Nose, Dempsey the Block, Humpty, Stephanie, Gaming for Fun, Logi, Tennessee Gaming, Jack T, Gaming Gamer, Death Sorcerer, Corona, and I Dead. We're gonna add a new friend to the channel. Didn't leave a comment, but he is a friend of the channel, and I want to put them in the Call of Cosmonauts. Let's go ahead. It's not Zisto. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, it is none other than... Da -da -da -da! Kankadia. Good friend of the channel, and definitely deserves to be in the Hall of Cosmonauts. Welcome, my good friend. Put your sign up here. All right, so we have Kankadia officially inducted into the Hall of Cosmonauts. Welcome, my friend. And if we took a look in the Book of Cosmonauts, we'll see that we are out of names. So all you got to do is post a comment, and in the next episode, I will place your statue right here. Now, I've just a, a bunch of new subscribers since the last episode, so I wanted to show you guys that. And don't be shy. Go ahead, leave your name. I'd be very happy to add you to the Hall of Cosmonauts. Let's just take a quick peek at the exterior of the build. Really love how this build came out. So, yeah, that's it for that. Let's get on to today's agenda, which you could probably tell by the title of this episode. I'm planning on naming it The Care and Feeding of Dinosaurs. So, that's it exactly. We're going to birth dinosaurs, care for them, feed them, etc etc so a very important factor in caring and feeding for your dinosaurs is actually having uh, where are you there it is feeders and those are constructed with a bucket two iron ingots some glass whole bunch of stone so let's go ahead and grab the materials that we need let's grab all this iron uh, let's grab stack of stone. Submit, please. Uh, add a little lag spike there. And stack of glass. Perfecto. I guess that'll do. Come on, glass. Thank you. Now... If we take a look at our map here, we could see all their cages for dinos. I guess not cages, but like, well, yeah, they're cages. And there is eight here and two on the sides. So let's go ahead and make 10 feeders. So we need 10 buttons. Mm-hmm. And 10 buckets. Ten buckets, perfect. And let's just shift click this guy into place. Ten feeders, perfect. Now we need stuff to feed the dinos. So I believe I have some delicious steak. And I have a whole bunch. Oops. Give me that steak, baby. One more stack. Look at all that 
delicious, delicious steak. Put away the rest of this iron, glass, stone. And last episode, we covered how to make this chicken essence. If we didn't see it, it's very simple. What you do is you get yourself a bucket of raw chicken soup, which is a bucket and a raw chicken. Then you cook that up in the cooked chicken soup. And the cooked chicken soup will give you... Um, you wrap it around with bottles and eight bottles of chicken essence. That's going to allow us to grow up our dinos faster than usual. The last thing we need, we have the steak for the carnivores. We need to get some wheat for the herbivores. And I've had my auto farm here going full blast on making wheat for us. So we have two stacks of hay bales. That is 18 stacks of wheat. I think that's enough. Let's head over to our Jurassic Park. And what I'm going to do is just, instead of flying, we're always in such a hurry, flying everywhere. I'm just going to take a stroll, take a look at the paths I've created to get over to there. And there's our demon underneath the witch hut. Hello, demon. There's our cat spot. So we made this little bridge, and here is dun, 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 the gate to Jurassic Park. It's the entrance to the Jurassic Park. <laughs> All right, and let's walk on over. And here is our Jurassic Park Visitor's Center. Should be familiar to you. We've been working on this for the past uh, two or three episodes now, I believe. So check those out if you want to see the secret meaning behind these paintings. They all tell a story, which is really cool. But what we're going to do is go ahead and hatch our baby dinos. So we have our infinite supply of milk because there is a cow hidden under here giving us milk. But we have all of the eggs required here. Uh, the Brachiosaurus egg was cultivated up. And we have another Brachiosaurus egg. Brachi what? Brachiosaurus, yeah. So let's go over to the Brachiosaurus pen. And we'll have them hatch. Put down the eggs and hatch them. So here is the Brachiosaurus pen. So let's talk a little bit about the Brachiosaurus and the care and feeding of them. So you see we have a book here, Brachiosaurus, and a stick. So the Brachiosaurus is an herbivore, and they will eat leaves plus or minus two blocks from their eye height. And we could order them around with a stick if they're tamed. And all dinos are tamed except for the T-Rex. We'll talk about that in a special case. All of the dinos are tamed by being within two blocks of them when they hatch. So let's put away our info book in this chest. And we're gonna head over to the center here and we're gonna sleep real quick. Good morning. And then next we are gonna go ahead and Put our Brachiosaurus eggs on the floor. And there is a special pattern you want to do. Uh, you basically want a torch next to the egg so they are warm. We place our eggs in the center. They are plenty warm now. They have four torches on each side. And what we want to do is monitor their growth with the Dinopedia. If you right click on an egg on the ground that's hatching, it'll tell you the hatch progress. So this guy's nine percent into the hatching progress so let's go ahead and wait for these guys to be hatched okay we're at 97 percent and there are there's our baby brachiosauruses hello my friends so we have some baby brachiosaurus now we need to we've hatched them we need to care and feed for them so um it's very important that we have the feeder around the block height 
of their face before we start fast um, growing them. Dude, how did you get... How? You guys are magic. <laughs> Let's, come on, guys. Get back in your cage. Okay. Yeah. You teleporting magic brachiosaur. Let's get the stick. Order them to stay. Hey, guys. You, you stay here, please. No, not free move. Stay. Actually, free move is fine. Not stay. Free move. You guys are free! Alright, so let's go center of this area here. That looks centerish, right? And we'll go right there, one block above their head. And let's pop a feeder in. And let's go ahead and get a stack of hay bales. And pop that in the feeder. So now they have 2,520. Eh, it looks like they could take more. We just want to fill it up all the way. So we don't have to worry about them being hungry. So now if we right click on one of these Brachiosaurs with the Dinopedia, you see that they're not hungry at all. You know, this guy's pretty much filled up. This guy pretty much filled up. And they are zero days old both of them and if we use one of our chicken essences on them it will make them grow up a day and make them very hungry so this guy needs to eat stat uh guy go eat please uh can i hand feed them yeah i can hand feed them so how you doing hunger now yeah, you still hungry, buddy? Come on. 334. 474. Perfect. So you can't feed, uh, do this chicken essence too fast because they will starve to death. You have to go nice and easy. So now this guy's pretty filled up. We could grow him another day, feed him up good. 356 feed him up a little more 450 perfect you you're doing good at 473 let's give you another day of growth look how fast these guys are growing up oh just a moment ago they were little tiny babies so now he's hungry at 271 give him some food 391 man you guys suck up that up oh! That was a surprise. Yes, you could ride your dinos. That was supposed to be a surprise when they were fully grown up here. <laughs> so we're at 441 at two days. How are you doing? 450 at two days. So we could go up another day now. For each of us. And feed them up. Oh, they're eating the leaves. How you doing on hunger? 403, 294. Okay, you need to eat a little bit. 424, 403. Okay, another day growth. There they go, eating the leaves. 283 and 124. Okay, boys, come on. Or boy and girl. Hey, you still hungry, guy? Come on, big guy. Okay, 463, perfect. And 382, you can use a little bit more. So we're at four days here. So we see the process. I'm going to go ahead and continue feeding them. And the max, I'll show you when I come back, the max level we could grow them with the chicken exits. Be right back. All right, guys, so the Brachiosauruses have been doing a bit of growing. <clears throat> and I have a little something, something to show you. What? <laughs> so this is really one of the coolest dinos because of their sheer size. 
But they are the gentle giants because they are herbivores, do not attack you unless provoked. And these guys are even tamed, so like we saw by accident earlier, if we right click on them, gotta find their hitbox, it's down here. We could ride them! What? We could ride these dinos! Now you can't control them because there is this item called a whip. But it's not craftable. But you can certainly sit on top of them like a pig that doesn't have a saddle or no. So you could just hang out on top of the dino like, hey, I, I live here now. Hi. Hello. I'm on a dino. I'm on a dino. Everybody look at me because I'm riding on a dino. <laughs> so... Um, the feeder does not work. We're going to need to provide them with leaves, uh, plus or minus, uh, one or two blocks on their face level. And this looks like their face level. So I could, uh, definitely shear up some leaves and place them up here on these trees for them to eat. And, uh, it's pretty high up. So they are still not fully grown, but we've grown them to the point where the maximum of the chicken essence allows and that is uh if you hold still a second buddy that is um 12 days old so you could fast grow them up and it took so much wheat out of all that wheat 18 stacks i got one two three four four and a half stacks left wow that was 14 stacks uh or 13 12 and a half stacks more the, i know maths so that's everything about we could ever want to know about the brachiosaurus let's go and get another set of eggs and hatch a new dino so here we've actually last episode hatched these triceratops and i want to go ahead and read you the info about them so the triceratops are or herbivores and we could order them around with a stick just like these brachiosaurs so actually instead of hatching new ones let's go ahead and get these guys grown up nice and big by the um with the chicken essence and we'll be right back with you all right guys we are back and the triceratops are fully grown well fully grown as with the dude with the chicken essence so these guys are both eight days old and these guys do eat from the feeder oh and they're rideable yes of course but you can't control them like a horse again because of that whip issue so let's take a look at us <laughs> ah we're riding a triceratops how cool is that guys yeah buddy so as we can see they do eat from the feeder and you can put any type of uh plant material in there and it'll give them food so you could put the wheat that'll do or you could even put leaves in there and they'll eat from that and maintain themselves full again they are ordered around with the stick so we could say hey you could stay follow me or free move so pretty cool huh let's give the brachiosaurus their stick back here i forgot to put that back and let's see who we're gonna Grow up big and strong next. Oh, did want to know I put some leaves up here and I got some more leaves to give for the Brachiosauruses to eat when they get hungry cuz I'm a good dino dad So that is up there for them and That is right on their head level so they should eat these without any problems when they get hungry uh, Right now this guy. Let's see his hunger level 437 so he's not that hungry how about you 488 oh, i think i could hand feed him leaves as well or not but let's go back to the visitor center and see who is next up in the hatching process hey that's a dead there brachiosaur there <laughs> so up next um let's do a little something different it's the peliosaur so let's go ahead and hatch up some peliosaurs and I will be right back with you when I do. Okay, I had to bring you back for this. This is really spoopy, guys. Our fossil of uh, the brachiosaur here. 
has come to. Ah, oh, it's alive! It's just walking by itself. Mm. Oh my god! It's so spoopy. Why are you walking? <laughs> it's so weird. I guess it's some kind of glitch because we have the Brachiosaur. The real one's there now. Hey, get out of here. So, that's a thing. And we're back with some baby Peliosaurs. The Peliosaur is a marine reptile. And it is a Piscivore. That means they eat fish. And they are semi-aquatic, meaning they could live on land or water. But uh, over here, I built them a tank so that they could live in there because it seems that they don't move as well in the land as they do in the water. So let's move them over into their tanks. And here we have the Peliosaur in its natural habitat. Now, as you can see, the Peliosaur, when they're at the bottom of a body of water, do catch and eat fish for themselves. Look at this. This is an awesome fish farm. And these guys are a little bit hungry. So let's go ahead and just gather up these fish for them. Feed it to them. Hey, guy. Here's a fish for you. So they're eating good here. Eating good in the neighborhood. And they again can be... And they're going to just grow themselves up, aren't they? They again can be fast grown with the chicken essence. So let's give that and give them a little fast grow action. Oh, he died. Oops, he starved to death. Uh, how are you doing, buddy? So, man, I can't believe I just had a dino die. Oh, Peliosaur. Can you eat your friend? No, you can't eat your friend. Can you eat steak? You want some steak, buddy? No, he doesn't eat steak. He just strictly fishly. So, it uh, looks like it's a bad idea to uh, go ahead and feed them um, the chicken essence so they grow up. But off camera, I'll go ahead and... Oh, I'm hungry. I'll go ahead and raise up another Peliosaur egg. Put him in here with his friends because we don't want them to be lonely what oh he teleported so these guys let's get our book out um guy don't kill yourself so um the pediosaur will eat fish when they're at the bottom of a body of water a marine reptile and we order them around with a magic conch so here we have Magic Conk, and they could change it by putting in the crafting window to Magic Conk Follow, Magic Conk Free Move, or Magic Conk Stay. So we're going to set it to Free Move, and the uh, Peliosaurs only Free Move when they're in a body of water, or also just stay stuck. So come on, warp to me. There you go. Ooh, eat your fishy. Yum, yum. Let's see if we can get him to move more to the center. I'm going to just use a uh, safari net. Hey, buddy. Come on over. So, pop you down right here. And hit you with the free move. Okay, now they're floating around free moving. And let's give him his fishies that he's caught there. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. So now we have Peliosaur free moving here. Good to go. Let's move on to the next dino. Here we have one of the cutest things I've ever seen. But beware. It's a ferocious carnivore. It's the Velociraptor. So guys, this is the Velociraptor. It is a pack hunter. And it's a carnivore. The first carnivore that we have... Uh, well, it's technically the Peliosaur is a carnivore as well, but it's more of a pescivore. So let's go ahead and grab our information about these guys. And they are following me around because they are tamed because I was near them when they hatched. So they're carnivores. We could order them with a bone. 
and when they grow up bigger they could open chests and steal the contents open doors and fence gates clever girl <laughs> so let's go ahead and feed these buddies let's see if they'll eat peliosaur will you eat a peliosaur buddy yeah you will oh you hold the peliosaur that is the cutest thing ever all right so they're getting kind of hungry they have learned about what let's put close this hasn't learned about chest yet so these guys we can't ride them they're too small but we can feed them with a feeder so let's go ahead and grab the feeder and next also we want to order them they are ordered with a bone let's have them free move no guy uh, do I shift click you stop taking the bone and be ordered with the bone what okay let's feed them then I think I got my meat and Gucci that didn't sound right um, you eat that no nope, you have to eat from a feeder okay let's do that then give me my meat back please thank you and we'll place the feeder where should we place the feeder I feel like we should put it like around here feeder go here and we place meat yes they don't eat uh, rotten flesh it looks like can't put that in there no give them a stack of steak will you eat from there go eat oh it's just oh you could um just right click it's not a bone free move stay follow free move stay follow all right so you guys are free moving now go go eat you're hungry clever girl you can't hand feed these guys they have to go from the feeder so we got the velociraptor and that covers here we have the brachiosaur velociraptor and the peliosaur and then here's a triceratops so that's four out of ten let's go ahead and do the fifth dino that we're gonna do and that's gonna be it for this episode so let's grab the last dinosaur we're gonna hatch this episode and go over creepy don't look at it oh god it's so creepy so the last kind we're gonna do is the mammoth and this takes a little bit more um preparing here what we gotta do head back to the base and we need to get ourselves a surrogate mama for the mammoth because they are actually um mammals so they don't hatch from an egg like the other dinos do so we have a pig in here already we have the grinder off we're gonna hatch up or spawn up two pigs so they could be the mamas for the mammoths mama mammoth mammoth mama that rhymed so that while that's they're coming up let's grab some eggs perfect turn that off and suck these guys up and one more whoop perfect now let's go back to jurassic park and inject the mammoth mam uh, mammoth embryo into these pigs so that they can have the mammoth babies okay we're here at the mammoth pen and what i plan on doing for this because we have to be within two blocks of the mammoth when they're born we're gonna pop the pigs in this hole so they can't get out oh, i took the velociraptor book with me all right so we have the pigs in here and we take our mammoth embryos and we click one guy there now it's a pregnant pig and a pregnant troll face pig so now we can check their pregnancy four percent uh format error per okay embryo inside mammoth embryo inside mammoth right growing progress 10 percent growing progress 10 percent so let's wait for these guys to grow up big and strong okay we're at 97 percent any second now <gasps> Baby mammoth! Baby mammoth grow up! Let's get him out of here. Come on, guys. Come out into the world. 
Oh, that is the cutest thing I've ever witnessed. A baby mammoth. Let's go ahead and fill up the dirt in here. Is that it? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. And here we have our baby mammoths. I guess the pigs could stay in here. Now, mammoths are uh, behave a lot like sheep. You see, they eat um, the grass. And you can actually shear them. So, the Dinopedia does not work on them. They're kind of like sheep. I don't believe you can chicken essence them. Nope. So, they just grow up on their own time whenever they're ready. And, uh... I guess these piggies could stay here to have the next babies whenever we're ready. But that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. How about a thumbs up for a baby sheep? And how about a thumbs up for next episode when we're doing the last five dinos, including the Tyrannosaurus Rex? Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later, cosmonauts!